Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to look at some recent intro questions from top MNCs. They might seem simple at first, but they are actually quite deep. I'm sure these will help you with your intro preparation. Let's jump into the first one. SaaS table has total 428 observations in which 20 observations are of make equal BMW then how many observations will be in BMW underscore cars data set and other underscore cars data set and this is the code data BMW underscore cars other underscore cars set SaaS dot cars if make equal BMW then output BMW underscore cars again output and run what will happen if I run this code so let's see the answer so answer is 428 observations are read from sashelp.cars and bmw underscore cars has 448 observations so this will have 448 and the other one has 448 strange right we were thinking like it will give us 20 observations in bmw underscore cars because condition is true for only 20 observations and other will have all the observations so let's understand this what is happening in this code in this one the first observation is read from sashelp.cars let's say it has make it equal BMW so for that observation this condition is true make equal BMW then output BMW cars so that observation will be written into this data set BMW underscore cars after that we have another output statement so this output statement what it will do it will write the same observation in both the data set so in BMW underscore cars observation already written through this condition and that observation will again will be written so this data set will have now two observations whereas other underscore cars will have only one observation then for the second observation let's say condition was false and it has read the cars equal mercedes so this condition is false when bmw cars observation is not written but this output statement will write the same observation in both the data set so now this data set will have three observation and this will have two observation and from the source data set how many observations we have read so far only two so that's why for all 20 observations where make equal bmw condition is true those observations are written in the bmw underscore cars data set two times so that's why the source data set contains 420 observations and additional 20 observations are written into bmw underscore cars data set because of this condition and this output statement that's why we have 448 observation in bmw underscore cars data set and other underscore cars data set will have equal observation to sashelp.cars so that's why we have 428 observations i hope this is clear let's move on to the next question what will happen if we sort below index data set so we are using proc sort data equal all underscore cars by make so sorting variable is make there is an index on this variable so i have attached the proc content of this data set so you can see index is make if we run this what will happen SAS will give us an error. I have attached the SAS log for this proc sort. So you can see error. Index data set cannot be sorted in place unless the force option is used. So now you can see in this proc sort, I am not using an output statement. So that's why it is not sorting. It is giving us an error. And generally we do not sort an index data set. Okay. So what should we do? So SAS log suggests that we can use force option. So if you use here force option, then it will remove the index. Anyways, it is not solving our purpose instead of force what you can use output equal statement and that would work because there you are not overwriting the master data set i hope this is clear let's move on to the next question name all of the types of tokens available in sas so what is a token let's first understand the token so when you submit a program in sas word scanner reads your code character by character and groups the character into words these words are called tokens then these tokens are sent to compiler for compiler compilation so there are four types of tokens available one is literal token so literal token contains all the text that is inside double quotation marks or single quotation marks so that is literal token the second is number if there is any number thing happening that is number token the third is name token so all the statements like data set merge these comes under name token and the last is for special token so if there is any special character like semicolon percent m percent those are part of a special token i hope this is clear let's move on to the next question how many tokens are there in the below statement 
statement so we understood what are the tokens and the name of the tokens so in this statement we'll try to understand how many tokens are there and we'll try to identify those tokens so here first is title then there is a message inside the quotes and there is semicolon so as we know all the keywords or statements comes under name token so this is title this is a name token one and the text that is inside double quotation mark single quotation mark that is another token and we called it literal token and the third is semicolon so it's a special symbol so this is special token so there are three tokens in this statement i hope this is clear that's it in this session guys we'll meet in the next session till that time bye and take care